Welcome back. In example 2.3.8, I want to show you how helpful um, seeing these linear transformation as matrices can be in understanding geometric operations. So I'm going to take two linear maps, T1 and T2. T1 is a reflection across a line y equals x, and T2 is a rotation by 90 degrees counterclockwise. Now what I want to know is what happens when we take T1, uh, T1 and then T2. And then what happens when we take T2 and then T1? And are these the same or not? Right, so these are hard questions. I mean, you could try to draw pictures and try to figure out um, geometrically or try to come up with combination algebraically and see what you get. But what's nice here is we can use matrices to completely solve this question pretty easily. All right, so in A, I'm gonna find the matrices of T1 and T2. All right, so we said T1 was reflection across y equals x. So if I take 1, 0, uh, reflection was well, just going to flip and become 0, 1. And the opposite is true as well. These just switch. And so that means that t1 of um, 1, 0 is 0, 1, and t1 of 0, 1 is 1, 0. And so the matrix of t1 is uh, 0, 1, 1, 0. All right, so t2 is rotation 90 degrees counterclockwise. In the last video, we saw a formula for all of them, and so might as well use that. Why work 20 times? on the same problem once you understand it. So it's cosine of 90 minus sine of 90, sine of 90, cosine of 90 degrees. And so cosine of 90 degrees is 0, minus 1, 1, 0. All right, so now we have our two matrices. We're ready to study the composition. Show that T1 composed with T2 and T2 composed with T1 are different linear transformations. All right, so let's see. Um, if I take T1 composed with T2, um, that's going to be corresponding to the matrix of T1 minus uh, times the matrix of T2, so 0, 1, 1, 0 times 0, minus 1, 1, 0. And now all I have to do is multiply matrices, and hopefully at this point we all know how to do that. All right, so I'm getting 1, I'm getting 0, I'm getting 0, and I'm getting minus 1. All right, and if you really want to know geometrically what this is, um, it looks a lot like the first example we did, or second one, let me show you. It's a lot like this one, except instead of having the x switch sign, it's the y that switch sign, so it's rotation on y equals 0, sorry, on y equals 0. But it's not part of the question, so you don't have to prove it, but you would know how. So this is um, reflection across the, uh, the x-axis, so y equals 0. All right, what happens if I take T2 and I compose it with T1? That would be T2, T1, and so 0, minus 1, 1, 0, and 0, 1, 1, 0. All right. Get minus 1, I get 0, I get 0 and I get one. Well, that's exactly the one that we had before. So this is reflection across the y-axis. So you can tell they're difference, different either by the geometric description, but really at this point, the matrices. So since T1 composed with T2, sorry, is a different matrix than T2 composed with T1. The linear maps are different.
right? So taking the reflection first, then the rotation is not the same as taking the rotation, then the reflection. They're close, <laughs> they're strangely close. They're both reflection, but not across the same line.